Hi guys, just to recap what happened last night, I'm not sure if you were watching the markets but we weren't significantly risk off um, following the FOMC minutes. Uh, the CME Group Fedwatch tool, which I can give you the link to, um, it's saying that we're probably going to have an interest rate hike in March, which is a big surprise. So I think the big fish were expecting it uh, slightly down, further down the line, uh, but now it's been brought forward towards March. So that's why the dollars move in. Um, but you know that the dollar bubble, um, which you would have seen, you know, because you've got access to the bubbles, but we know that's strong buy. So that's great because sentimentally that agrees with the fundamentals, right? An interest rate hike should be positive, that currency should. Uh, let's just go to go back and just to say we've got um, we've got Germany inflation data. And then we've got uh, initial jobless claims, uh, the trade balance and ISM services PMI. So that's going to be high severity and this is going to be high severity as well. I think jobless claims is medium severity, but keep an eye on this PMI number. And uh, I guess you can always pause this video and just read these, but let's just give you a little uh, summary of each pair. And Bitcoin and Ethereum has fallen a lot and they're quite good risk proxies. So really, if we're going to go risk off, Maybe you could argue these are going to suffer, um, to be honest. So yeah, have a look at that. And also, if you wanted the information, you can always just go to your MetaTrader and in the News tab, and you just click Forex Today, and then you get the information. So you could just do that. Uh, so click that off. Uh, I guess we could start with gold. Because we're here, we've got a big volume node um, indicating selling pressure. Uh, the level of interest are obviously monthly pivot. Look where we are. SLC below is what 1797, so we're very, very close. I don't know if or not they're going to move their stops. It's one of those things we, we don't know. Uh, but they're saying support here. Right, so we are. Oh, wow, it actually did like plonk down quite hard. So, uh, your ADR low is 1793, all right? And a lot of these pairs that I'm gonna show you, we're, we've exceeded ADR, so whether or not it's gonna overlook that and we're gonna be fundamentally driven rather than technicals, it might just be a fundamental day. All right, so there's gold, you know the level of interest to trade off of. That volume node is 1806, so you could potentially have that as your stop loss. Uh, we are a sell. And they went long, right? So you know things are aligning. AU. Uh, I think this SLC is going to be safe now. Uh, it's huge and it's miles and miles away. See, so we've ex exceeded ADR. I think it's just going to ignore that, and we're probably going to be on a liquidity hunt. Uh, Seventy-one forty-nine. Uh, we are. We have been a sell um, since here. So uh, it's quite naughty because they went long. But yet price went up. So follow my um, follow that price action. They went long, so they got paid. Went sideways. They shorted it. Went sideways. Sold it, and then they went long. So there, they decided to buy after that big candle, which I suppose makes sense if you look left. You've got the support, haven't you? So they're probably looking left to think, well, this is going to hold. Of course it didn't, and we cascaded below, and now we have got monthly pivot resistance. Big volume node there, so you know the the big boys probably stepped in, and they saw some uh, some indication to sell. I'm not quite sure what it would have been. It would have been something to the left there. Uh, why did they sell there? Uh, well, I guess we've got that support, haven't we? But anyway, so that's um, AU. Um, guess we could do AJ actually because you know we're possibly going to be a bit risk off today uh, I think this is below no we're not we're miles above monthly pivot so that we're still technically uh, a buy because we're above this uh, so C is 84.40 uh, 82.75 we are a buy and we're above monthly pivot so that line there is according to this support so I was saying it was going to hold so keep an eye on uh, 82.95, and we've exceeded ADR as well. Um, yeah, look at dollar Swiss, maybe. Um, yeah, we're above monthly pivot. Um, we've got a little bit of activity up here, which could be resistance. We could come up to that, which would coincide to MR1. And then it might just go sideways again. Uh, but we are a sell, 
Um, so we really shouldn't be going up, but don't forget the dollar is going to be, uh, we've got that uh, narrative, we've got a driver for the dollar because of the FOMC minutes and that March interest rate hike, um, you know, it was 80%, it's 68%, so it's fairly likely, uh, SOC above 92, it's easy to remember, SOC below 90, 95 pound. Uh, do, do, do. Um, pound, yeah, I'm grabbing the SLC 12, 135, 12, uh, 136. So, uh, we are a buy and they sold it there. So, um, you know, we could probably argue it's had its move there. You know, we crossed the 50% line there actually. So, what's that? It's a 320 pip move. So, you could probably say that. You know, it's, it's justified that they, they shorted it. They got, you know, they got pretty much destroyed after 300 pip move. You could argue that might have been it. It's like liquidated then, perhaps. This is just a trend line that I drew uh, on Monday. And uh, so, yeah, we're in monthly pivots there, so don't forget, and we are a buy. But maybe they, that's a, that's a large enough move after that 50% cross. You, maybe. Uh, so yeah, just keep an eye on SOC. If it gets larger, what it will mean is that they simply move their stops lower. If it gets smaller, the school bully's got their lunch money and then we can come up, all right? So maybe they might get stopped out. I don't know, it's hard to say, isn't it? Euro USD. Uh, no, we're gonna see a lot of volume on the right-hand side. Ah, oh, actually it's a little bit calm. I think because I'm on H4 perhaps. SOC below, 112.95. We are probing it now, pretty much. Yeah, we're like, the spread and some of your brokers would have got you out there. The IC markets is zero spread, so it's one of the things that's really, really cool about IC markets. Your conventional broker spread would have taken you out there, I think, and that would have stopped you out. Um, 113.95, we are a sell, like I was saying, the technical channel, and we're blowing monthly pivot, so um, bear that in mind. And uh, dollar yen. And um, I'll just show you some uh, average weekly ranges and I'll wrap up the video. So there's your monthly resistance SOC 116.35 and 115.60. Uh, some activity down here indicating that there was a buy there, the, the big boy stepped in right about here. And so up we went. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you the. Um, average weekly range dollar yen had exceeded it and it was only tuesday like you would have seen in my video so that was a bit of a warning sign um yeah i've got a sell position on this uh, but it's just like a micro lot because i wasn't convinced and i've been caught on the dollar yen before so i've only put a small position and it should potentially fall uh maybe uh, technically anyway because we've exceeded the average weekly range uh, Swiss yen, I know you guys probably don't trade this, but that had done it as well. We'd exceeded the average weekly range. Uh, you would have seen in the technical channel, I put a pink box, and that's for the fact that, you know, we've exceeded the AWR, all right? Um, potentially, we're gonna come down to the daily range low on that. So, um, EJ's, yeah, we didn't quite we, we came fairly close but we didn't break above but you know it's going to be a good resistance because it's weekly range high and this is based on months and months and years of data so this is going to be quite good and then pound gen perhaps and then i'll wrap up the video uh yeah that had exceeded and you see how you can use it for you know just to end for your entry um so that's that it's doing quite well nearly 100 pips 92 pips off that uh, technically, sentimentally, this is going to be a buy, all right? But just technically, we had over exceeded. And this is your weekly open, and this is your daily open, all right? So we can use these boxes to trade off of. And so that's that, I guess. Um, US 30, we've got support. You know, we are have, can have massive support on the indices. You, all you gotta do is look left. Huge buying opportunities, so. Um, Perhaps if you're looking at this uh, index, 36232, we had a double bottom. And so that should hold. Maybe we might target this, it's hard to say, but I think this is gonna be a good support to be honest. And we'll wait and see. 
So yeah, apologies if it's a long video, but there's lots to talk about. And also, um, don't forget the uh, fundamental driver for today is the the, um, the Fed watch tool and the March probability of the hike, 68 percent. So it's fairly likely. And so if we get any positive data or negative data, it's going to impact that that probability. So NFP Friday is going to be huge. It's going to be massive for the dollar. So uh, just trade carefully and you should be fine. Remember the indices are well supported. So, and we're looking to buy dips. We're not looking to sell rips. We're looking to buy. All right. And uh, have a good day and I'll speak to you soon.